for joining us for News 3 at 10. I'm Danica Lewis. For more than a decade now, roundabouts have changed the way we travel, but it's the Department of Transportation who is putting an emphasis on even more highway roundabouts. The night team's Matthew Simon tells us some now feel there is a need to change the law. They're about a pound, a pound and a quarter piece. It took a full year. And there's two. The owner of Wanakee's Village Market, Fred Loy, says business is returning to normal. Since the roundabout, he, many of his fellow residents, and his delivery drivers did not want in the first place. They have a problem getting through it. Was built three quarters of a mile down Main Street. Most of the town or the village or that doesn't want it, they shouldn't have to have it. And that's what Vernon Representative David Craig thinks should be written into law, saying giving locals the decision could help avoid taxpayers having to pay to fix the problem roundabouts, making it difficult, like for those who deliver. It goes to the heart of whether or not a municipality should be able to um, have a, a final say in whether or not a roundabout gets put into their, their jurisdiction. But DOT leaders argue they already listened to the locals and say it was something like an outright veto option that could lead to more construction and more costs. Maybe in some instances, but it certainly costs a boatload of tax dollars to re-engineer a roundabout that doesn't work for our taxpayers. Okay, out of 40. While Fred Loy says the new roundabout down the road is not costing him deliveries. Nobody has <laughs> ever said they couldn't come here because of the roundabout. He says the point is his voice and those who live here should matter more. Have a good evening. If there is a next time for a roundabout. In Wanakee, Matthew Simon, WISC News 3. Now, along with the DOT, some lawmakers spoke out against the highway proposal. During a hearing last week, they said this is more about fear of change than actual reason. The earliest the proposal could see a vote is next year. It would need to pass both the Assembly and Senate and receive Governor Walker's signature.